Today is February 23rd, 2018, and this is your daily vlog number 644. Oh, gosh, I can't do math. No, I, I, actually, I can't even count. So, uh, today I wanted to do a quick video of how I am doing with everything, okay? And just, I haven't done a video about my portfolio in a while. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the portfolio and see where we are at at this time. So, let's look at the changes right now. Oh my God, everything is green. Holy crap, that's nice to see. So, every, all my positions right now are green today. Uh, the altcoin market was tanking super hard and now today is finally green. Uh, Bitcoin's holding steady at 10,000, guys. And I was thinking it might drop a little bit more and I was going to... I was really thinking about buying more into Bitcoin, uh, but for me personally, I don't feel that comfortable. Um, I already have about what? Let's see here. I have about six thousand dollars invested into Bitcoin. Actually, forty four thousand seven hundred, and I'm holding at six thousand two hundred. So in my portfolio, I'm not looking too bad. My Oyster Pearl is definitely something I do want to get rid of. Okay, so I'm not shilling for Oyster Pearl, but the ones I am shilling for is Neo, as well as Icon and Stellar Lumens. I, Icon is still dirt cheap. It's actually pretty crazy how cheap Icon is. Um, I mean, I wish I had just more funds laying around so I could just dump more into the cryptocurrency market, but I'm not feeling that comfortable. Um, Zillica is the other one that I'm thinking about buying more into. Right now it's at 0 0.55 cents. And I mean, I just bought a little bit just to show all case how Ether, the exchange works. I, I did a video not that long ago Radar Relay Decentralized Exchange. So let's go ahead and take a look at Radar Relay. And I did some buys and sells on this uh, exchange and I bought some Zillica over here. And it looks like there could be like, oh, this is nice. Oh, they have taken off. They have, there's a lot of buys and sells here now. Oh, which is really nice uh, before. so. One thing that's nice right now is Radar Relay is using the ERC20 token and it looks like they're doing pretty well with their product. Zillica, there was no orders here before, but now that um, we got some more orders, uh, you can see how closely, uh, how close the buys and sells are. This is really cool to see. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, so yeah, Radar Relay is taking off a little bit and it looks like... Um, more and more use cases are coming into Radar Relay. Personally, for me, I don't like to use Radar Relay or uh, Ether Delta because it's just really clunky. You could go ahead and check that video out. I did a full buy, full sell, and multiple other situations, and I just didn't feel comfortable with it. Um, or it's just not as good as real exchanges. However, you want to buy the coin before it hits the real exchanges, before it hits KuCoin, before it hits Binance, before it hits any of these major uh, exchanges. So Zillica is on my radar to buy. I just don't have funds, man. And I wish I had some more funds. And I really I, I really regret not buying into the dip when it hits 6000 I did a video about that saying that, hey, I think I missed the biggest sell of the year. So, uh, you know, just go back into my portfolio and see how things are looking. So Stellar Lumens has dropped significantly 37 cents wow uh, that's cool I, I don't mind cryptocurrency markets and especially in the altcoin market dropping a little bit because I feel like everything's overrated and overpriced so uh, taking this hit just makes it feel better and then hopefully things go up from this point uh, I think the altcoin market got hit a lot lately and it's time for some rise and Fucking XRB, baby. Let's go, boys. So XRB uh, is still trucking away. Oh, my God. It's amazing. It's it's going up and up. Let's take a look at the... Uh, I, I want to look at Binance. Actually, let's go to CoinMarketCap. Okay, so for me personally, I like XRB. If you guys don't know what XRB is, XRB is the fastest zero-fee cryptocurrency ever. Okay, it's instantaneous. Like, how, how much faster can you get than instantaneous? Uh, there's a lot of videos out there about Nano and how it should be the Bitcoin replacement. Go ahead and take a look at that video or, you know, just look for the, that video in general. You'll see plenty of hits regarding XRB. And if you don't know what XRB is, um, you, you really need to know what it does. I mean, it, it kills Bitcoin, it kills Bitcoin Cash, it kills Dash, it kills 
uh, Litecoin. It kills all these coins, I think, personally. The only problem with XRB is it's not time tested, and as well as as a currency, it's just a pure currency. So it doesn't need smart contracts, but it would be really cool if this currency has smart contracts built in to, uh, built on top of it. Also, they use DAG, so it's not proof of work or proof of stake. Um, they they sort of have a mechanism that's like proof of stake, like if you hold more coins, you verify the transaction and something of that nature. So, but anyways, getting off the topic here. Let's take a look at Nano. Oh my God, the graphs look too good. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, finally, we needed this this rise, man. And I think the rise came from I think tw tw uh, Twitch. Let me just look. Um, nano Twitch, uh, Nano to Twitch. Uh, we we were overdue, guys. Um, let me see Reddit. We were so overdue for a pump. Yeah, Nano on Twitch, seventeen hours ago. <laughs> I mean, this is, we live in a hype world, guys. I don't care. I'll, I'll take anything. <laughs> oh, Nano to Twitch. And then I get like a freaking pump that's like, what, 50, 60%? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Oh, I got a new message. Let's see what the message is about. Great video. Well explained. Best strategies or uh, smart strategy. This is, I think, related to my, uh, oh, profit trailer settings that got me 20%. So let's talk about profit trailer. All right. Am I still at 20%? No, I'm not, actually. We are at 0.116. What what happened? All right. So we were at 0.12. Now I'm I reverted back four percent. So let me go ahead and explain my situation. Uh, if you guys were looking closely at my profit trailer magic and my other video, you would have noticed that hey, uh, there was some red. Um, this is with the bot on, guys. Just letting you know, uh, these are all the sales with the bot or PT magic on. And I haven't really looked into PT Magic, but it looks like it's working pretty well. There's, and let me see how many DCAs there are. Um, yeah, a lot of sales with a lot of DCAs. Okay, a lot of sales without DCAs as well, which is cool. I like that. Let's go to day two, and this is where you'll see what happened. Oh, day two. Come on. Do I need to take a snip, uh, a snapshot of this? All right. So you see what ended up happening. I modified my settings. Oh, stupid website. I don't know how I'm supposed to. Gotcha. All right. So, I what I did. Um, this is right before PT Magic. Okay, and I knew I wasn't getting. I wasn't going to get out of these bags. And some things caused some problems with Profit Trailer, and it lost the back count, but. This one here, DLT BTC, that hurt me a lot because it went down roughly about what 15% and it DC six times. So what was I trying to do? Well, I actually increased my DCA to four, five, and six, trying to get out of this bag with sell only mode on. Okay, and that's my attempt. And I actually got pretty close. It got all the way to like four percent, and then it took another dip down. However, let's take a look at the price, and I'm going to regret this decision. I should have just let the bot do its work, but let me get to that. Well, I didn't mean to do a panic sell. I mean, I meant to do a sell only mode true, and I turned panic sell on, and it sold one pair, and I was like, ah, screw it. Just sell the whole thing, and then let me see how PT Magic works from here. Okay, so it was it, it was a two-part two component. Yes, PT Magic, I made a mistake. I DC it too many times without the enough funds with too many pairs. That's one aspect of it. The other aspect is, hey, I wanted to start fresh with PT Magic on, see how everything works. All right. But I, I still think it was a mistake because I personally believe I would have got out of this bag eventually. One thing that I wanted to sort of cover real quick is let's take a look at the pairs. I am right now, and this is something that uh, I, I'm excited to move over to Tokyo AWS. I, I need to go ahead and do that and make sure I am communicating directly with Binance. Because uh, I was looking over this, right? So let's see here. Bot price, or excuse me, current price, 5029. Okay, well, actually, that one just moved. 94020. So let's take, take a look at Binance. BNB. So 9404, come on. 9404, not yet. Not yet. 94, 9406, oh, well. 
Okay, well, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just leave it alone at this point. Um, because these are just so little purchases here that actually 9406, it should hit that at least. Come on. 940, uh, excuse me. Yeah, 9406. It needs to update to 9406, please. Or 9409, come on. 9409. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. Um, but I want to see if I move this to Tokyo that this latency disappears. And that's the whole idea of going into Tokyo. All right. So when I move everything over to AWS Tokyo, I want to see that. Let's take a look. Finally, let's take a look at uh, PT Magic and see what it's doing. So I'm still on default, guys. Unfortunately, I would like to show you guys the Paris files updating and stuff, but you know, unfortunately, it's not showing me that. Uh, DGDT. Man, this coin is always pumping and dumping. I actually made a lot of profit on this coin. Nano, yeah, yeah, go freaking Nano. You, you, we deserve a pump. We've been out of the pump loop for a long time. We've been hurting. And I've been, I have like about 150 uh, XRB. So everything looks, based upon market trends, everything looks pretty default. Uh, so if we look here in the sales, uh, not sales, on the dashboard, see these numbers here? They're pretty consistent. I guess it's the delta between the numbers or actually the positive or negatives, you know, and that will swing my default settings. Um, so yeah, um, one thing that I'm actually interested of trying to do is use different buy strategies based upon different markets, which I, I need to figure out. Today is not gonna be the day, um, but I'll go ahead and try to figure that out and let you guys uh, update you guys on how that comes around. So yeah, I, uh, again, I, I, wow, I'm gonna dance for you guys. 423 subscribers. Thank you so much. Again, I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, let's keep it rolling, guys. Uh, please share my videos. Please thumbs up. Please give me a freaking comment because your comments, based upon your comments, is what I do the video uh, content on. Every time, like, there's, a, like, a really smart comment out there, like, oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to do a video topic on it. So thank you guys for watching the stream, or excuse me, the, the video. And tell me what you guys think about this sort of uh, impromptu kind of conversation that I'm having with you guys. And if this is beneficial to you. Um, I, I mean, I guess it's beneficial once in a while. But I would like to have more of these videos as we have some downtime. And to create content for you every day is pretty difficult, right? Especially like meaningful topics. So give me a comment. Let me know. And I, I, I feel like I definitely need to short this seg uh, segment because this is pretty long. But... I had a lot to talk about. I really wanted to talk to, talk about these topics with you guys today. So that's why this video is here. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Please subscribe. Thumbs up. And again, sincerely appreciate your support. Bye.